So we are back in Columbus. Our trip to Toledo has ended. Anthony is back from his business trip. Everything is slowly coming back to normal. Well, as normal as it can be. And Gray is rediscovering all of his books. This is where we've been all morning. He's gotten all of his books out. I keep putting them back. He keeps getting more out. We're reading all the books because it's been a while and he loves reading books. We had a great time in Toledo. Um, I took a couple clips of our time there, so I'll either put them here or in another vlog before this. But uh, we had a great time. It was a nice little getaway. Um, it was nice because I was feeling super nauseous like the whole time in Toledo. And so I'm really glad that, um, that I had my mom to help me take care of Gray. Ooh, I love you. Yeah, is this snuggle puppy? Well, I have a thing to tell you, and it won't take long. Okay, I had to get Gray dressed really fast, and now he's on the move. Ah! But yeah, I was um, super nauseous while we were in Toledo, and so it was really nice for my mom to um, help take care of me and take care of Gray while I was like basically glued to the couch and didn't want to move. So I am feeling a little better. I've been taking um 100 milligrams of b6 a day and so that seems to be helping and i'm also trying to eat more okay sorry i had to stop filming because he wanted me to turn on the alexa and there would be copyright infringements from the song so i had to stop for a second but anyway yeah i've been taking b6 and that's been helping i've been taking um pepto bismol and that seems to help too i take it very sparingly and they say it's okay to take it in the first trimester, but don't take it second or third trimester. So that's fine. The nausea should be gone by then anyway. But it does seem like my nausea is better. However, like last night I woke up at like 4 a.m. I think it was either 3.30 or 4 a.m. And I just could not go back to sleep because of the nausea. So it's not like it's so much better, but it's better than what it was. Of course, it does have flare-ups here and there, but... Um, Anyway, it was really nice to have my mom helping me, but it's nice to be home and to see Anthony again. I miss him, and so, um, yeah, we're just hanging out, rediscovering all our toys. We need to make a grocery run today because I have no groceries because we've been gone for a week and a half, and um, I think that's it. It's going to be kind of a lazy day, but I figure that's okay because Grace just going to want to play with all of his toys, and, and we'll be busy doing all of this, so... Loving it. Jason, are you tired? Do you want to go to night? I do. You do? Say please. Hey. <laughs> He's saying please on his back. You want to go to night? I do. Okay, come on. Let's go upstairs. Run upstairs. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go. Run upstairs. Let's go to night. <laughs> so this is my life currently. Grayson is scooting around on the floor. And he just spilled a bowl full of teddy bear crackers. And now he's laying on the crackers. Mm-hmm. So today is a super exciting day. I'm so tired right now, so I'm not very excited. I mean, I'm not very exciting, but I'm excited. Anthony and I are gonna go to my first doctor's appointment. We're gonna go to the doctor and get an ultrasound and make sure that this is really happening and that I really am pregnant. And so we're gonna go. I'm gonna probably have to fill out paperwork, pee in a cup. We're gonna do an ultrasound and I really want to know what my true due date is because when I first found out I was pregnant I went on like an online calculator and you could just put in like the date of your last um, period and it'll tell you like when your due date might be and so it said September 9th so I'm excited to go to the doctor today to see so I can actually measure the baby to see how far along it is because I could have ovulated early or late or right on time so we will see but i'm very excited to go um 
I'm gonna try to record something, but I'm gonna be so nervous. I don't know if I'll be able to, maybe at the next appointment. So I'll let you guys know. For now, we're just playing. We just got back from story time at the library. Grayson was actually super cute. At the library, they always play different songs. And this time they played like a freeze game song. So they would like play the song and then they would say freeze and everybody would have to stop. And Grayson loved it so much. He thought it was so funny that we would like dance and then we would freeze and then dance again. He was belly laughing. He thought it was so funny. So he's keeping my spirits up, but I'm still feeling very nauseous. I'm hoping maybe I can ask the doctor for like more help. <laughs> maybe she can prescribe me something. Um, but we will see. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'm just going to have to clean up. Oh, it's blurry. Here we go. Clean up this mess and keep an eye on this troublemaker. Grayson is talking a ton now and he's learning his numbers and letters. Huh. I got this for him for Christmas, and it's letters, and they go to like Sesame Street things, so he likes it a lot. Hey guys, so as you can see, it's the end of the day. I've already changed into my pajamas. I unfortunately did not get any footage of us at the doctor's office. I was like freaking out the whole time, and I, um, just didn't think to pull my phone out and it went actually a lot faster than I thought it would. Usually the first doctor's appointment takes the longest because they have to do like paperwork and blood work and all that but I felt like it went really fast. So I'll just walk you through it. We arrived at the place, we checked in, they had me fill out paperwork which I thought was weird. It was like three pages of paperwork and it was like, have you had any previous pregnancies? How did they go? How many kids do you have? Are you on any medications? Whatever. But it's weird that they're asking me about like my previous pregnancies, like ask me like how far along I was when I delivered and how um, much Grayson weighed. And I was like, they should have all of this information. Like I was with them when I gave birth last time. So I thought that was weird that they had me fill all that paperwork out, but whatever, I did it. They called me back. Um, they took my blood pressure, which I was super nervous was going to be high because I'm always nervous at those appointments. Um, and it was fine. It was like 110 over 80 or something. I don't know. It was fine. She said it was good. They also took my weight, um, which I'm starting off basically at the same weight I was when I started off with Gray. When I was pregnant with Grayson, I was 123. I'm 123 with clothes on. Naked, I'm 122. So I'm technically a pound lighter than I was with Grayson, which made me pretty proud of myself. But anyway, so they got that. Then I had to pee in a cup, which I hate. I hate peeing in a cup, but I did it. <laughs> and then I had to get undressed from the waist down. Again, I didn't like that because for the first appointment, they always do a transvaginal ultrasound instead of one on your stomach just because you get a better picture and the baby's smaller, so it's harder to see from the belly. So I bought, my doctor came in, did the ultrasound. Of course, it was uncomfortable, but whatever. We did see the baby. I do have a picture I'll show you guys. It's not that good of a picture, though. I was actually quite disappointed. I'm going to have to put this like in the light. It's really hard to see. So, this is going to be hard to do because I'm holding the camera, but right here, that little blob, that is baby. So the black surrounding it is my uterus, and then this little thing is baby. Hard to see, but yes, it is there. So, she found it right away, which was exciting, and we did see the heartbeat, like, fluttering. Um, we didn't get a measurement, like, of the heartbeat or, like, how fast it was going, which I didn't at my first appointment with my last pregnancy either, so I'm not surprised. But we did see it moving, so it does have a beating heart. Um, and we did see the yolk sac. Um, she was showing us that on the ultrasound as well. Now, when I, going off my last menstrual period, which was December 4th, on that appointment, I should have been one day shy of eight weeks. Um, but when they measured baby from head to rump, it was measuring like three days short of what I thought I was. So instead of like being due 
on the 9th, it was saying I would be due on the 13th. This exact same thing happened with Grayson. Based off my period, he would be due on the 1st, but they moved it to the 4th because he was measuring behind, which is fine. Like, I just ovulated later, whatever. This time, I thought for sure it would be the same thing. They would just move my due date. But for some reason, my doctor didn't. She, like, went and looked at... She said she had, like, some period flow chart or something. And she was like, oh, it's not that far off from what you were, so we won't change the due date, which I thought was interesting because they changed it last time so why wouldn't they change it this time I'm sure in the grand scheme of things it's, it doesn't really matter but I don't know just kind of interesting so she found it everything looked good but it was smaller than we thought it was just because we thought it, we I would be further along I guess and so surprisingly at my next appointment which I made an appointment at the end of next month it's like February 25th or something the last Tuesday of February um I'll be like 12 weeks then, or a day shy of 12 weeks, and they're going to do another ultrasound on me, but this time I don't think it'll be vaginal, I think it'll just be like on my stomach, which is interesting because last time I only had two ultrasounds, the transvaginal one and then the anatomy scan. This time I'm getting a bonus ultrasound. Not sure if it's because this time I went in earlier than last time, and so baby was just smaller, and so they want to keep monitoring it or if it's because this is my second pregnancy I'm not quite sure I never asked like why they're doing another one I mean I feel like that's kind of a bonus for me like I get to get another picture and see an updated you know image of baby and it's going to be like way more defined than this one so I'm excited for that but I'm also kind of cautious like why are we doing another ultrasound yeah they they're keeping my um due date the same and the doctor is just telling me like since this is your second pregnancy, like, just be aware, like, you're gonna start feeling things a lot sooner than you did last time. So any aches and pains that you had, they're just gonna happen a lot sooner than your last pregnancy, which I figure because my body's more used to it and it knows what's happening, and so it's just gonna get there a lot quicker, so yay. <laughs> last pregnancy, I didn't have too much problems. The nausea was really bad. Um, and then after that was done, I was fine. And then I had a bit of like back pain. I actually went so far as I got like a belly wrap and that actually really helped. Um, and then after that, like it went away after a little while. And then after that, I had heartburn and that was pretty bad towards the end, but I just took Tums all the time and it was fine. Anything is fine compared to nausea. Like the nausea, I just, it's so hard for me. So We'll see what this pregnancy brings. They say every pregnancy is different, so we'll see if I have those same symptoms, different symptoms, we'll see. Um, she also told me to expect my labor to be about half as long as last time. So with Grayson, my labor was about 12 hours long. So she says to expect six to seven hours. Wow, that seems fast. And then pushing should be 75% less. So I pushed for an hour with Gray. So technically, if I'm 75% less, I'll be like 15 minutes with this baby, which again, seems fast. But who knows, it could be totally different. It could be even longer, we'll see. But yeah, so she was just telling me about that. She was asking me how I was doing. I was telling her how I'm really struggling with nausea. It's been really hard lately. I have been taking a B6 vitamin and it has been helping. I do still feel nauseous a lot, but it's not like I'm constantly thinking to myself, like, where's the nearest toilet? I'm going to run to it. But she mentioned that she has um, a prescription that she recommends people. Well, she has a low dose one and then a higher dose one if people really need the higher one. She's like, but for this one, it's for people, you know, that feel nauseous all the time, but they're not throwing up and I was like yeah that's me like I haven't puked yet but I feel nauseous all the time so she gave me the medication to try and if I like it then I can like get a longer dose of it I'll show you what it is so it's this right here it's called Ingesta extended release so um you take well you can take one a day or you can take two one in the morning and one at night I already took the recommended B6 vitamin today, so I'm going to wait until tomorrow to take it because I just don't want to take too much B6. This medication that she gave me, it's a combination of B6 and Unisom, which I've heard is the best way to treat 
nausea during pregnancy. So I'm gonna try it tomorrow and I'll let you know how it goes. After all that, I got a flu shot, which, ouch, that hurt. Still hurts, um, but it was good because the flu's really bad this year. Everyone's freaking out about this coronavirus thing that's happening over in China. Uh, but I actually read an article that said you should be more worried about the flu. This coronavirus that's in China has killed like 100 people so far, 130 maybe. And the flu has already killed like 5,000 people and like 64 infants. So the flu is way worse and way more likely to catch. So I'm glad I got it. Gray's already been vaccinated since October, I think. Um, so we're all good against that. Of course, that doesn't mean that we're not, we can't get it because there is still a possibility, but hopefully we don't. Um, so I got that and then they did some blood tests just to make sure that all of my levels were normal. And then she said she would call me if anything see was, you know, not right. And if I needed to do anything, um, she told us that there were options that you can get like additional testing to test for like things like down syndrome and different things that they can tell just through the blood um but i don't think we're gonna get any of that we didn't do any of that with grayson and it's expensive our insurance doesn't cover it so you know whether this baby has abnormalities or not we're not gonna abort it or anything we would still have it so whether we know or not i mean i think there's still potential to know at the 20 week ultrasound so we'll just stay tuned until then so yeah, I ended the appointment by making my next appointment in four weeks, like I said, at the end of February, where I guess I get a bonus ultrasound, so that's exciting. Um, Anthony did go to the appointment with me. I was super glad he went just to have his um, support, and my mom was able to watch Grayson for us so we didn't have to take him to the doctor's office, although we did see at the doctor's office in the lobby, they have a little train table for kids to play in. So he could have came, but... I can't even imagine like he has no patience he would have hated and that room was so tiny there was nowhere for Anthony to sit he had to stand next to me so there it would have been terrible with Grayson I think that's the only appointment that Anthony's going to be able to go to just because they're during the work day and he works and it's hard for him to take off of work especially with like all the things that we have coming up like we want to take a vacation we've got my sister's wedding coming up bachelor party like all this stuff eventually he's gonna have to take off two weeks when the baby comes so we're trying not to have him take off too much time so i just wanted him to go to one just to like be there and now that he did he's good <laughs> so yeah i was happy that he went i was happy everything's going okay um so far so good so uh Unless something happens, I'll, I'll let you guys know. But um, for now, everything's good. Baby is good. Um, and we'll see where the next appointment takes us. But that's not for another month. I hate that. But for now, I just got to deal with this nausea. So I'll let you guys know about that new medication and maybe it'll help. Um, if not, I'll just go back to the B6. Uh, I still got about probably like, well, I'll be eight weeks tomorrow. So I got like four more weeks minimum. <laughs> of nausea could could be up to high as five or six weeks left of nausea so it's a long time but what can you do but I think that's all sorry this was not exciting at all I was really hoping to show you guys the doctor's office maybe next time I won't be so nervous and I will but I'm not making any promises but thanks for hanging in there and listening to my story <laughs> of our first doctor's appointment for baby number two so, uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.